As the won substandard goods gains momentum in the country, the Uganda Bill of Standards has admitted that it has limited capacity in cleaning up the Ugandan markets free of substandard goods. The UNBS Executive Director Ben Manindo says their capacity remains in ensuring quality of food and food products, building materials, chemical and some powers on electrical appliances, casting doubt on whether the war on substandard goods, including fake phones, will bear fruits. When it comes to standards, you will never, and no country, including the United States, has capacity to test everything. Though the Uganda Communications Commission is banking on UNBS for effective cleanup of fake phones, responsibility now remains with the telecom regulator to acquire machinery that can detect and switch off substandard phone. The Bureau also has no value of substandard goods in the market, saying most of these goods enter the country through smuggling. We don't have actually the actual figure. These are just estimates. And our estimates are informed from the goods that we inspect, which are coming in. And as the public remains in suspense on how to differentiate fake phones from genuine ones, we couldn't ascertain whether Uganda Communication Commission has facilities to switch off such phones come July. And as Uganda Communication Commission says, it is Uganda National Bureau of Standards which has the mandate to regulate fake phones in the market. UNBS says it is Uganda Communication Commission which has the mandate and the authority to make sure that the market is free of fake phones by switching them off. Now, the question remains, who has the mandate to do this? As most consumers continue to buy phones without being clear which is the genuine and which one is fake. Kenneth Bwire, WBS Business.